This three-step disc herniation routine gets you lightning fast results by mobilizing the disc, taking pressure off the nerve, and then strengthening the disc for life. My name is Dr. Grant Elliott, and we have helped thousands with back pain and sciatica fully recover through our one-on-one -on -one online coaching program. And in this episode, I'm excited to show you a disc herniation routine that has helped thousands of our clients finally see results. Now, before I show you this three-step routine, there are three simple things I need to teach you about disc herniations that are so crucial to your recovery. Do not skip this. This is vital information. Quick reminder, like the video. One, discs do not slip. The classic phrase of, oh, I slipped a disc or that doc told me my disc is out of place. This is not true. It is not helpful information. It gives this imagery that our discs are these loose little bars of soap between some vertebrae that can just slip around real quickly and get out of whack. And that's absolutely not true. Your discs are extremely strong. They're surrounded by tons of connected tissue, tons of muscle. Your spine is super strong. Number two, you must understand that disc herniations are super common. In fact, 50% of individuals alive have a disc bulge and don't even have any pain. So for some, it can cause pain and others, it won't. In number three, 97% of disc herniations can recover without surgery. Everybody thinks as soon as you get a disc issue, you need surgery because that's just what they're told, but it is not true. There was a massive study that showed out of 280,000 people with lumbar disc herniations, only 3% needed surgery. So you can absolutely recover with the right plan. And that's why you're watching this video. Now let's get to the routine. The first exercise is so basic and you've definitely seen it before, but it sets up the other two. So just be patient. We want to start with a general cat cow mobility movement. And it's not because this is just a simple, you know, yoga thing you've seen forever, but because with discs specifically, discs can become very fixated and stiff when they have a herniation bulge that is symptomatic or is just sensitive in general. So if you are someone who tends to sit in the same position all day, the fluid can migrate and settle in one particular area. This can increase pain and increase stiffness. So by going into a cat cow motion, very gently increasing the motion as you go, it can basically help pump the fluid back and forth in the disc and improve that disc material mobility, for lack of a better term, to help remove some of that stiffness that you have acquired throughout the day. This can then allow us to move on to more advanced exercises, which I'm going to show you next. Now, one quick tip is when you are going into flexion with the cat cow motion, rounding the back, this will be sensitive for some individuals who have disc issues. So only round as far as you can until you begin to kiss the pain and no further. Hey, real quick, I know you're struggling with pain and obviously want to fix it. So if you just text me the word pain to 317-751-9509, I will send you my free back pain fix demo. Just text that number and you can fix your pain. Thank me later. Back to the show. Okay, step two, now we're actually gonna target the disc specifically. We're gonna work into our lumbar extension motion. And for many of you, you've probably seen this, you've probably tried it, it looks just like the cobra pose like in yoga, but we're going to do it differently and you need the education behind it. To perform this movement, just lay on the floor or on the bed and push your chest up off the ground as far as you can comfortably. So in this version, the entire goal with this is to help push the disc the direction it wants to go that will be away Away from the sensitive tissue and away from the nerve. We're trying to literally decompress the area of the disc that we need to, to help it regress or just simply move away from where those painful areas are. As we're performing this movement, the main difference between this and yoga is that we don't hold it and we don't squeeze our glutes. Once again, just going to the point of tension. This can be incredibly beneficial for the right person. Not everybody will respond well to this, but many people will. All right, step three, let's stabilize and strengthen this disc for life. One of my favorite strengthening movements for disc herniations is our single leg bear exercise. In this particular exercise, you're going to be on all fours. You're going to raise the knees a couple inches off the ground, and you're going to kick one leg out while squeezing the glutes and remaining as still as you possibly can. This exercise is so good for a few different reasons. One, it's training the front of your core and it's very friendly for these types of lower back issues. It very rarely flares up back and satica issues. And then by extending one leg at a time, it trains your anti-rotation muscles, which are super important for maintaining stability with different athletic endeavors and things like that. And finally, it trains the lumbar erectors as well. So you're getting a lot of things done in one single motion and is so great for disc recovery. Now, as you're doing this, you can just simply alternate back 
back and forth and see how many reps you can get. Or you can start to increase intensity by holding it for time. You can try to keep one leg straight, squeeze that glute for two to three seconds or longer. And you can also do motions with the leg as well. There's multiple ways to progress it if you want to get fancy. Quick reminder, like the video. Now, for many of our online clients who respond to this type of routine, it's important to understand that this isn't how it always looks for them because everybody's different. So we might give these exercises to them in a different order, at different stages, with different modifications, because this really needs to be effective for your particular routine based on your response to these exercises. So if you want to dive deeper with me and actually get a structured plan to avoid surgery and fix this disc, I've got something for you. Just text me the word pain to 317 7 751-9509 to get a tailored step-by-step -step plan to permanently fix your back or sciatica issues following our centralization process. Do it right now so you don't miss the opportunity to finally beat this pain and live the life you deserve. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, join my Facebook group Rehab Fix Low Back Program for more free content, resources, and guides. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.